Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is finally February. I cannot believe it. I am honestly so happy that January is done because it is such a long month. But now we're in February. I'm super excited. I'm actually heading on my honeymoon next week and I'm so excited. So I'm going to try my best to have a couple of videos still go up, but there might be a little bit more of an absent from me, uh, specifically more so on my social media accounts like Instagram. But nonetheless, I'm hoping I'm still going to have some videos. But if not, now you know where I'm going to be. But anyways, if you guys want to hear all about my January favorites, I've got a lot. There was a lot of goodies this past month that I've reviewed for you guys here, and a lot of them turned into favorites. And if you want to hear all about them, then just keep on watching. All right, starting with skincare, uh, in one of my recent Skincare Sunday videos, I actually used a new brand. I've never heard of this brand, never tried this brand, and I tried... Um, I think one, two, three, four products from one of their lines. And this brand is called Lyrac Paris. And I use their Hydrogenesis line. And let me tell you, oh, it is, not only is the packaging so cute, like everything in the line is this really soft baby pink, which is super eye-catching for me. I'm just totally gravitated towards those kind of chic, girly looks. But don't be fooled, it's not just the outside that's amazing. The product itself is honestly so amazing. I've seen results from two of the products specifically. The first one is this one here. This is actually a moisturizing rescue mask, and a lot of the times I don't find I see a very big difference in these moisturizing masks. Um, but this one, like right away, I was, I was mind blown my skin immediately i saw a difference in the texture i was having a lot of dry patches and this alleviated that within one use so i've been using this about two times a week it's super easy to use it's not messy at all you apply it um, onto your skin for about five minutes to ten minutes and then you just wipe it off with a cotton swab it's so easy so love this guys super easy to use and amazing on the skin and secondly, I've been using this one every single day. You guys know that I take moisturizers very seriously. I love water-based moisturizers. This one here is the moisturizing cream from the Hydrogenist line. It is ideal for very dry skin. Now, my skin isn't very dry, but I've definitely been having some issues with flaking skin in certain areas on my face. So I decided to give this one a try and it worked beautifully. I'm really, really happy with it. Can you guys see her in the back? I don't know. My dog's taking a nap in the back, even though her bed is right beside me. Moving on to skin. Um, I don't remember when I exactly reviewed this, but I don't think I've talked about it since my review. So this here is one foundation from Burt's Bees. This is the Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup Foundation. I'm in the shade 1025 Natural Beige, and I really like this finish. Oh, I'm wearing it right now. I find that in the winter, my skin tends to look a little bit more dull. And this foundation just really livens it up, if that makes any sense. I really like the way that it sits on the skin. And even though I'm a little bit more oily in my T-zone specifically, it still lasts all day long, which is so amazing. So I'll link the video down below in the description box in case you want to see a full review and demo. But honestly, this guy is so, so good. Honestly, this past month, I've only been using this one. And then also this guy here. So it kind of depends on my mood. It depends on how when I wake up, how my skin's feeling, but I've also been really loving this one here. This is from Kiss. This is the Pro Touch Liquid Foundation. I recently reviewed this on my channel and I am such a fan. This has been my go-to foundation for the days where I want my foundation on for kind of eight hours plus. It lasts so long on the skin. It doesn't break up in any areas. It looks good. I don't consider this a matte finish, but I definitely think it's more of a natural finish, but it looks so good on the skin and products work beautifully on top of it. Anyways, I'm not going to talk too, too, too much about it just because I did just put up a review on it, I think like two weeks ago. So check it out. Let me know what you think if you've tried this product. It was honestly the first time that I ever tried any Kiss products for the face. So I was really into it. And to continue on that, I am also still using the concealers and it's the only concealers I've been using since I've tried them. They're so good. So I've been using warm nude and then sometimes I add a little bit of classic ivory on the inner inner corner just to really pop and get that highlight. I don't love the sponge applicator that comes with it, but I do love the product. It is full coverage under the eyes. It looks amazing. It blends out beautifully with a brush as well as a beauty blender because often in the morning I'm in such a rush. I don't even have time 
to dampen my beauty blender. So I do use brushes a lot in the morning now before work. And these products work really, really well with a brush. So I love that. They last all day. They don't crease under the eyes. I just, I've really been enjoying these Kiss products. Like, I'm not joking. So I'll link those reviews for you as well so you can check them out. Moving on, I recently got my hands on this little guy here. It is so beautiful. You want to use it just because of the fact that it's so beautiful. The packaging, ugh, it has a really pretty gradient effect to it where it starts with a shimmery bronzer, blush, and highlight. Haven't really been loving the bronzer, but I really go into this area for an everyday blush color. And then of course over here for a nice highlight. So pretty. I find that adding that little bit of shimmer to my blush has just been allowing me to look a little bit healthier, a little bit more awake. Like I've really been incorporating it almost every single day into my everyday look. I'm wearing it today and as you can see on the apples on my cheeks, like you can tell that there's a little bit more glow going on and it's done on purpose. It is this stuff right here. I don't even think I said the name. I'm so excited about it. I forgot to tell you the name. It is one of their Pixie Glow palettes and it is in the shade Gilded Bear Glow. They do have another one that is a little bit deeper in tones and this one is in the shade Pink Champagne Glow. I haven't dabbed in this one yet. I definitely will be, but so far I've been super obsessed with the first one. It is so stunning on the skin. Moving on to mascara. This is kind of like an oldie but a goodie. I was recently needing a new mascara and I went to the drugstore and just picked up one of my favorite ones. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but man. I was using kind of a bunch of different mascaras um, in kind of November, December, trying out different ones, um, not really having a steady go-to one. And then when I ran out of most of them and they were all kind of at the end of their life cycle, I knew I needed a new one. And I just went back to this one. And let me tell you, like, when you go back to a favorite mascara, it's life-changing. It's like eye-opening. You're like, why was I ever using a different mascara? It makes no sense, especially since this is drugstore. It's so affordable. It honestly just looks so beautiful. It really does give your lashes so much length, thickness, and volume, and it's affordable. Like, I just, I don't know how many times I can tell you that it's affordable, but it's really good. It never, ever has flaked on me. It's never caused problems. This one here is not waterproof, but I honestly, in the winter months, I find even just walking from like my car to my destination's door, I'm tearing because it's so windy uh, where I live. It's such like the cold just bites you. It's intense. So I often get teary eyed and uh, I never have any problems with this mascara running just off of like a couple tears. I mean, I'm not bawling my eyes out or anything like that or swimming, but uh, so it's not like waterproof, but it can withstand like a tear or two, which is great. Two Libbies to talk about. Ugh, I've been loving this collection. I go back to it all the time. It's another drugstore favorite. These are the Rimmel Stay Satins. In the winter months, I do find it a little bit difficult to wear fully matte lips. So I've really been sticking to glosses and satin lipsticks. And these guys are such go-tos for me. For the longest time, I only used this one, which is Yuppie. And then I thought this was Yuppie and I put it on and it wasn't Yuppie and I was obsessed. And this one is It Girl. Both of these shades are just like the classic everyday pink kind of neutrals. I find It Girl is even more neutral than Yuppie. Yuppie's got a little bit more pink to it. So this one here is It Girl and that one there is Yuppie. Such pretty shades for every day. I am so upset. Although the formula is not matte, these lipsticks really do stay on quite well. I do have to touch it up after I eat a meal, but just drinking water, tea throughout the day, I don't have an issue with it transferring too much. And I also find that it just hydrates my lips a little bit more than a matte. It looks matte, you know what I mean? But it doesn't feel matte which is really awesome. Anyways, guys, that concludes my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, just a reminder that I will try my best to be posting next week, but if you don't hear from me, I am off on vacation and I will be back very, very soon. Let me know down below if you've been trying any of these products and what your January favorites were. I know it was a very, very long month, but we made it through. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and of course, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.